Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection and how you feel about each other, the energies between you. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every single Capricorn watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and uh, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, or you want to see what other messages there are out there for you, check out your other placements, your moon, your rising, Venus sign, any other sign of significance for you. I have all the playlists linked in the description box if you are curious. Sometimes those messages can resonate more. All right, for Capricorn, spirits, angels, guides. What guidance messages inside do you have for Capricorn regarding love? Capricorn, this will be a reading for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. All right, for Capricorn, spirit, what's going on for Capricorn in love? What's going on in this connection between Capricorn and this person they're thinking about or connecting with at this time? What's going on in this connection? What's going on in this connection at this time? Knight of Wands reverse, okay. What's going on in this connection between Capricorn and this person? Queen of Swords, yikes. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, Capricorn, I could tell you that things aren't great. Um, I feel like you are this queen of swords. You've hit a breaking point. That's what I heard. Breaking point. Um, your eyes are open right now. And I think you're kind of on the defensive too, as if, you know, I don't know, like um, you don't want somebody to hurt you anymore. You don't so, don't want somebody to lie to you or take advantage of you anymore. So you've become very cold, very guarded of yourself. And possibly, I don't know, with whatever's happened, I think maybe you've turned into a queen of swords. Maybe you weren't a queen of swords before, but with everything that's going on right now, it's like you're done emotionally physically, mentally, whatever it is, I feel like you're, you've hit your breaking point. Someone pushed you too far. Can I get one more, please? Can I get one more for Capricorn? What's going on in this connection between Capricorn and this person? This one. Yeah, King of Wands reverse. So someone here, um, there's a Two of Swords. Someone here, I feel messed up bad especially when i have the knight of wands reverse and the king of wands reverse they tend to jump into things too quickly they tend to want what they want no matter what no matter the consequences um they tend to be i don't know it's like egotistical uh driven by their desires and instincts impulses you know it's almost like this is the the worst version of themselves they are being at this time Knight of Wands reverse is somebody who is non-committal, in and out, cannot be relied upon or depend is not dependable, is somebody that does not stay, uh, maybe is a player, etc. 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 So when I see the King of Wands reverse here, I think this is this is just terrible. Um, you could be dealing with someone like this, or perhaps this could be you. Maybe you turned into this person for whatever reason or made a mistake because you went you know, with your impulses and your and your desires rather than with what your mind was telling you at the time. But I think this is the person you might be dealing with, like most of you here. Um, the Two of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So I'm getting almost like a stuck energy, guarded energy once again. Um, in the traditional tarot, her hands are crossed over her chest, uh, the Two of Swords, and she is wearing a blindfold. So it's almost like you are completely like uh, blocked from whatever's happening or blocking yourself from this person. Um, it's like you don't want to see, hear, or deal with someone else. That's kind of what I'm picking up here, but we'll, we'll clarify and see if that's correct. Can we get some insight, please? Clarity for Capricorn. You could be dealing with a fire sign um, or an air sign. It does not have to be. But those ended up showing up here. 
I think there was kind of like a big um, disruption in a connection. Can get some clarity, please, on these energies for Capricorn. Tell me about Four of Wands. Okay, so the Four of Wands did want to show up. It was at the bottom of the deck, and I was like, eh, who cares? <laughs> but apparently it's important. So something could have happened in the home, regarding a home, regarding stability, regarding the peace that there was or that someone probably wants. Uh, because the Four of Wands is a card about like domestic bliss, um, rites of passage, stability in a home life. Um, so we'll see what happened here. Tell me about the King of Wands reverse and the Knight of Wands reverse. Okay, we have the Emperor, Aries energy. Tell me more about this King of Wands reverse and the Knight of Wands reverse. What's this about? Wow, Wheel of Fortune, geez. Okay, tell me more about the Knight of Wands. I want one more, please, for the Knight of Wands reverse and the King of Wands reverse. Do we need to know? Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands. So when I saw this, a Wheel of Fortune that came, you know, when, as soon as I put it down, I did not get a good feeling about this energy, which is kind of funny because the Wheel of Fortune is, is technically a positive card. It symbolizes fate, fortune, good luck. But the wheel is always turning. The opportunity and the luck and the fortune is not always there. It's not always available. Um, it depends on, you know, how you approach it. If you approach it at the right time, etc. When I saw this Wheel of Fortune, I thought of a wheel that was kind of rolling around. It was like on a dirt road. <laughs> and I just had this forebo- it was like a foreboding that when that wheel stops, it's not going to be good. And I don't understand why. Let's see. Can I get one more, please? There's a Queen of Swords again. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune. What's going on with this Wheel of Fortune? Why, what can you tell us, Spirit, about this Wheel of Fortune? King of Pentacles. Okay, so King and Queen of Pentacles on the board. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune. I find it very fascinating that most of these cards are people. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune. Almost like this is affecting people or people are making all of this happen. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune. Justice. Something's happening here. Yeah, there's a tower. I know, I, you guys. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, it's hard to explain the messages that you get and what you pick up from the cards, unless you're like a tarot reader. When I see justice with the tower, I think something is gonna come down and it doesn't matter who it affects. This tower and justice is basically two energies saying the tower will be coming down and it's gonna be fair. It's gonna be objective. No emotions involved. It's not gonna matter how someone feels or how someone sees the situation. It's just going to be as it should be. It's going to balance out as it should. I hope that makes sense. This is going to affect two people. I feel it's going to affect a pair, and I think this could be the person you're with. You could have already been in a long-term commitment with this person, possibly even married to this person. I feel like this emperor is an energy of someone who is trying to bring back balance. They're trying to take control of the situation. But I think the situation, that's why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Things are going to move forward or move in a direction that no one has control over. I hope this is making sense because I don't feel the cards are really laying out what I'm picking up of that, you know. Um, but there's a reason why I am saying this, why I'm picking this up. It's probably going to show up a little bit later in the reading. Tell me about this emperor. I'm just curious. What can you tell me about the emperor? Also, look at all this major arcana that showed up here. The only um, non-major arcana are these two cards with these two people, King and Queen of Pentacles. But the three are major arcanas. The only major arcanas on the board. 
So I feel like there's major shifts in energy happening. Tell me about this emperor. Can you tell me about this emperor? Can you tell me about this emperor? Page of Wands, taking initiative. Once again, a lot of fire energy, action, movement. Tell me about this emperor. The emperor is somebody, yeah, look at this. The world and the eight of cups. Eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. You know, the emperor is a doer. That's what I was saying before I was interrupted. <laughs> The emperor is a doer. He, the, he, this would be an energy that would definitely take charge of a situation, take initiative, take the first steps, take risks. But he's not reckless. His um, maturity or experience makes him not reckless, not impulsive. I think what's happening here is that there is a cycle, a new cycle that's looming. And it's going to come with someone. It's like someone's walking away from something into a new cycle. And I think this is starting to like set a lot of other things in motion. Notice the circle here. There was like that circle I was picturing with the wheel. I feel like this is all connected. Now, I don't know if this is you leaving a situation and moving forward because again, you are a queen of swords in my mind. You could be just done with this situation and walking away towards something new. And that's kind of forcing this emperor to, to try to like follow you or do something about it. This could also be you. You could be taking charge of this situation. Once again, not being an emotional uh, person because the emperor is not emotional. Emotions don't sway his decision making. You know, it's almost like this could be you taking charge and being like, I'm leaving. I see both. Got the chariot and the tower. Look at that. Just fell out of the deck. This departure, I feel, is going to cause a tower. There's going to be a big tower that's coming here or affecting this connection. Cancer energy with the chariot. Tell me about the queen of swords. Why is the queen of swords here? What can you tell us, spirit, about this queen of swords? Knight of Cups. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Eight of Swords. Interesting. Can I get one more? Okay. The Devil at the bottom of the deck. There you are, Capricorn. Showing up to your own reading. I feel like someone wants you. Nine of Cups, the Devil. Normally these two cards wouldn't go together, but I'm seeing this Devil energy as you. This is just a symbol for you. And I feel like you are someone's wish. You are someone's um, satisfaction. You know, if they were to win you, they would be very satisfied. Things would be great. There's the Queen of Swords behind that. You see what I'm saying here? You are this Queen of Swords. I'm, I'm, I mean, I just feel it. You are hard to approach, hard to deal with right now. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I just feel like you're very protective of yourself. Look at this queen of swords and look at how she's holding the sword in front of her. Almost like, you better watch your back. You better come at me correct. <laughs> I'm not playing around here. I think someone's very interested in you, Knight of Cups. Maybe this is someone trying to apologize for what's happened. Um, but the Eight of Swords is here. Once again, I see you very closed off. Blindfold is here again. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Queen of Cups judgment. Yeah, this is somebody that wants a second chance. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. And this is something that is like kind of, I think, carrying over from the last reading I did for you. Because in that last reading, someone wanted to try again. Someone wanted to try things over or do things over. Okay, so let's see how you feel about each other. What's the energy between you and this person? Spirit, tell us about the energies between Capricorn and this other person. Some of you are dealing with a Cancer or someone with Cancer in their chart. Okay, tell me about Capricorn's energy. Now Capricorn, 
I'm going to have you on one side, your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Capricorn's energy. What can you tell me about Capricorn's energies in this connection? See? Poetic justice, fairness, balance, karma. You will have justice and balance will be restored. That's why justice showed up. Once again, I feel like this is a very unemotional turn of events. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like for the Capricorns that I'm reading for, it's almost like you are all cried out. You have felt everything you would want to feel. And now it's about decisions, fairness, objectivity, logic. Tell me about the person that Capricorn is dealing with with walking away departure journey movement you are walking away towards something more fulfilling okay let me get one more tell me one more for capricorn love letter special message is on its way tell me about this other person that capricorn is dealing with can i get one more energy for this person that capricorn is dealing with Budding romance. Yeah, so this person loves you, is still interested in you. I think they're going to try to contact you. Can I get some more insight, please? For Capricorn. Some more insight, please. Guidance. For Capricorn and this person. Now your person could be walking away, but I have a feeling that this is you because I don't know if, okay, so let's say they are walking away. They're walking away while still have feelings for you, while still having feelings for you. Um, but I have a feeling that you're possibly walking away from them and they still love you. So I feel like it's hard for them. I, I, I see both ways, but for some reason, I think this might be you walking away. Can I get some insight into Capricorn's energy? Can I get some more insight into Capricorn's energy? Marriage, number three. Okay. Tell me about the person Capricorn is dealing with. Capricorn, you are either married to this person or this is what you desire. Someone serious. Yeah, this person's like de despair for them. Number 32. So they, they're not dealing well with, I feel, a de this is why I'm saying like, it doesn't make sense for them to be walking away and feeling despair or romance, unless you're forcing them to walk away. You know what I mean? It just doesn't make sense. So that's why I'm picking up that perhaps this could be you walking away here. Um, now this poetic justice with marriage, this could be a divorce, you know, maybe a divorce that's being initialized here. Let's get some insight into feelings, thoughts. Using my secret moon oracle deck here. Tell me about what they are thinking, feeling for each other's spirit. Capricorn and this other person. Can you give us some insight into what they are thinking, feeling about each other? Tell me about Capricorn. What is Capricorn thinking, feeling when it comes to this person, to this connection? Tell me what they're thinking, feeling when it comes to this person or this connection. I wasn't honest with you. I am ready to open up. You're always on my mind. Hmm. Expect a message. Okay, I was going to say, I don't think this is you. I think this is what they're telling you. They're going to tell you this. I wasn't honest with you. I'm ready to open up. You're always on my mind. Okay. Tell me about Capricorn's person. What are they thinking, feeling when it comes to Capricorn? It's funny because I feel like this person is consumed by you right now. So you are everything they think about. You're everything that they are, um, like their actions are surrounding how they feel about you or what they're thinking of you. You know what I mean? Everything is you, you, you right now. You make me happy. Okay. So this person is going to experience some sort of a loss. Yeah, I love you at the bottom of the deck. This person, they still love you, Capricorn. 
they still love you. If, if you're going to take anything from this reading, it's that. Now, I have a feeling some of you might already know this and it doesn't matter. And I don't mean that like in a cold hearted, I mean, that's such a queen of swords thing to say. But what I'm trying to say is it doesn't matter how this person feels, only how they behaved. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't matter that they have all this to tell you. Their actions have sp speak louder than words and have spoken louder than words in the past. That's why you, they're in the situation that you are in. Now, this person is definitely going to message you. Um, this is someone that is, I feel, a little desperate um, to communicate to you because I think in their mind, this is their last chance. Um, okay, so let's look at the tarot. Can you give us some insight spirit into what Capricorn and this person are thinking, feeling about each other? I'm actually going to lay out the cards for both of you. I'm going to pull the cards for you and for them at the same time. Tell me about Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn and the energies they are bringing to this connection. What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Capricorn? This one. Oh my God, the Knight of Wands reverse. I feel like they're only, uh, it's almost like they're thinking about you and consumed by thoughts of you and being heartbroken and still loving you. And it's like they're thinking about their feelings for you, but you're thinking about what they've done. Every time you think about this person, all you can think about is what has happened, what they've done, what you know. So it's like you're both on different pages. Tell me if that's resonating for you in the comments. Has what this person done, their behavior, their actions, have has it encompassed everything? Like you cannot see past their actions. Their actions is all you think about. It doesn't even matter how you feel or how they feel. Tell me more for Capricorn. What do we need to know? Six of Cups. Yeah. Once again, I feel like um, there are good, probably good memories here, but the past is... Um, I feel like you, you can only think about the past. Can I get one more for Capricorn? And they might have ruined an otherwise good connection. Yeah, Ace of Swords Reverse. You are... You could have stopped talking to this person. Maybe they weren't completely honest with you and you know it. Or you are aware of this. Okay, tell me about Capricorn's person. Tell me about Capricorn's person. What do we need to know about this person that Capricorn is dealing with? The star reverse, Aquarius energy. What else do we need to know about this person? The hermit reverse. I find it funny that you have no major arcanas and all of their so far is major arcanas. Virgo with the hermit. Tell me more about this person that Capricorn is dealing with. What do we need to know about them? Death, Scorpio energy. They have all major arcanas. Um, <laughs> despair. That's that star reverse. This person feels that the situation is hopeless or they're losing faith or losing hope in possibly having success i think things have ended or are ending between you and this person and they don't know how to handle it their their intuition is blocked i feel with the hermit reverse or they're not able to figure things out or listen to counsel listen to advice they might be, if, they, if you've blocked them, they might hate that, you know, like they hate that they have no access or are far away from you. Okay, so let's get some clarity for Capricorn. Okay, so let's see Capricorn. What is this Ace of Swords reverse about? Capricorn, I feel for you because I think a lot of you feel like you've been played. Yeah, so I think... Um, you probably had a really stable, solid connection or what appeared to be solid or stable. And 
this could have been a surprise to you what has happened here maybe you feel like that was all a lie tell me about the ace of swords reverse you were promised something and you might have even worked for this put an in effort into this home life put an in effort into this um, into making this a happy connection tell me more about the ace of swords reverse yeah the moon for you it's like it's it was an illusion this was an illusion i feel like a lot of you think that you've been again played um and that makes me sad because that almost hurts even more the fact that you can't you feel like you've you, what you truly believed in was a lie you know sometimes that can be even more painful than just i don't know do you know what I mean? <laughs> I just feel like it's 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 like it's bad enough that this situation is what it is, but now I have to feel like I played myself or I was played. Like that's just adding insult to injury. Tell me about this Knight of Wands reverse. Yeah, the high priestess. This person lied to you or deceived you or kept something from you and it just brought problems to your connection i feel like it was an outright lie that um this is about i wasn't honest with you can i get one more for the knight of wands reverse two of wands and the empress interesting so the two of wands for me is almost especially with like the knight of wands reverse the two of wands for me is someone that wanted two things at once They wanted to have their cake and eat it too. They didn't want to have to choose. You know, that's kind of the energy I pick when I have um, a Knight of Wands reverse with the Two of Wands. And then to have the Empress show up, like this is you. They did this to an Empress and I think they're learning that that was a huge mistake because you are better than this and you know it. Um, it doesn't matter if they know it or not. Um, what matters is that you recognize that you're an empress, that you have something to bring to the table that is substantial and has potential for growth and abundance. You know that about yourself. So that's going to um, influence, or at least it's gonna play a part in how you behave, what actions and decisions you make. And this person's learning that, I feel. If you don't know that you're an empress, then I feel like you need to wake up to that. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Six of Wands. Oh, Seven of Wands. What am I saying? Six of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Strength at the bottom of the deck, Leo energy. I feel like this person is trying to use the past to their advantage, their good times to their advantage. Remember the good times. Remember what we had. Remember that what we had was special. Um, we had a really good connection, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like you're trying to block this from influencing you. You're trying to be strong. Okay, so let's look at your person. Tell me about the star reverse. Why is the star reverse? Three of cups. So a reunion is probably something your person's hoping for and maybe in their mind this is not going to happen tell me about the star reverse yeah they want this ten of cups happy ending things to work out i don't think it's going to go their way and they kind of know that tell me about the hermit reverse <laughs> five of swords tell me about the hermit reverse that's like the worst card that could have come out right now tell me about the hermit reverse three of pentacles Another three. Um, the reason I say the Five of Swords is like the worst card to come out of with the Hermit Reverse is because the Hermit Reverse is someone that is running away, escaping, not listening to their intuition, not listening to the inner voice. They're not listening to wise counsel. Their judgment is blocked. This is somebody that rather than face their problems head on, they're trying to find a way to go around the problem 
right? That's the hermit reverse. So with the five of swords, <laughs> it's like someone's so afraid of losing that they resort to this energy. Self-sabotage, someone that is uh, deceptive in nature, um, doesn't play fair, right? But the five of swords is a card about failure. It does not work. This does not work for this person. So I feel like this person is, they played you, sure, but they're playing themselves now. They're not doing things the way they should. Um, I feel like they're probably involving other people here with the three of pentacles, or at least giving you the illusion of, I want to work on things. I want to work together. But, but they're saying this to win, not because, you know, and I'm not, I'm trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt, but I feel like they're just repeating their mistakes. I, I see it here. They have no one to blame for, but themselves, you know, but I don't think they've learned that lesson. Tell me about death. Why is death here? Why is death here? Ace of Wands with an ending comes a new beginning. Tell me about death. Ace of Swords. This person wants to talk about a second chance. This is what I'm seeing here. They want to talk about whatever has ha whatever has happened and how they still want things to start again or they still want a new beginning here with you. Same energy from last the last reading that we did for you Capricorn. Tell me about death. And the reason I don't have a new message for you because sometimes I get comments like same situation again, same message again. And I feel you on that. I wish I had a different message for you, but that just tells me that this is not over. You know, if, if a situation is ongoing and is ongoing for a year, why would you expect a different message, right? Um, there's a reason why the message is still coming up or why this is coming, this energy is coming up now is because it's currently happening or will be happening soon. It's not over. Tell me about death. Let me get one more for death. Scorpio energy here with death. Yeah, six of wands. This person wants to fix things. There's a, there's the justice card at the bottom of the deck. They want to fix things. Um, and I feel like they're hoping for a miracle, this person. Hoping, waiting, wanting, you know, things to work out in their favor. Uh, they want to win, is what I'm saying. They want to win you. And that was a, a message from the last reading as well. Can I get one more for Cap, uh, Capricorn's person? What are their true intentions towards Capricorn? What is this person's true intentions towards Capricorn? Let's see what their true intentions are. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt, right? What are their true intentions? And I'm not trying to say that this person is an evil person. I mean, they could be. Who knows? But um, sometimes life throws us curveballs or puts us in positions where we adapt or die. You learn from the mistake and you move on to the next lesson. Or you repeat that lesson until you learn it. I think this person is repeating a lesson until they learn it. I don't think that makes them a bad person, but it possibly makes them a person you don't really want to deal with because you're probably at a different stage in your spiritual journey. What is this person's true intention towards Capricorn? Oh my gosh, we have the fox, the clever fox. Now the fox is, oh no. <laughs> I just saw the bottom of the deck and I was like, gonna throw such a positive spin on this fox i was gonna be like capricorn this person is family oriented and then there are hyenas at the bottom of the deck so this is the five of swords right here these two energies the hyena hides behind their sense of humor because they're very insecure they tend to twist things because they don't want you to really know the truth um, ugh. and then with the fox, like I don't, these two are not good. I hate to say it. And maybe it's because your person is de feeling despair. Maybe they're feeling like this is their only option or they're so scared to lose you that they are 
not doing things the right way. I mean, that could be too, but I just don't, I'm not going to BS you. These are not good intentions here. This is someone that wants to use their cleverness and their smarts to take advantage of a situation. Um, and they're not being very honest about it. The hyena cannot be honest. They hide behind their, their humor. They hide behind a mask because they're so insecure and they are, they don't want to be hurt. The hyena does not want to be seen for what they are because they think they'll be rejected, right? So I just feel for this person. This is the five of swords. So unfortunately, I'm not going to spin this in a positive way for you, Capricorn. That's just not the kind of reader I am. And I don't think it helps the situation because I think at this point in your connection, you cannot be lied to anymore. There's so much that you're seeing right now. Your eyes are wide open and no one is going to, oh, I just heard gaslight. No one is going to gaslight you anymore or convince you of something that you already know is not true. Do you know what I mean? I feel like you would reject that outright because you're, you're in such a defensive mode of, I need to protect myself. Enough is enough, right? If you're resonating with that, please let me know in the comments. I, I love hearing from the Capricorn, my Capricorn viewers. I feel like your comments are insightful. So yeah, anyways, so that's what I have for you Capricorn for this reading. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it was insightful or brought clarity to your situation. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button and subscribe so you can see more readings from me and I will see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.